Joining us now, Northwestern Mutual Wealth Management Chief Investment Officer, Brent Schutte. Brent, thanks for being here. Um, so, you know, just kind of looking at the way you're posi positioned right now, it doesn't appear that you're currently positioned for a recession, overweight small caps, underweight big, uh, big caps. Is that a, a recent shift that you had? Were you kind of taking some profits from some of the bigger names that had recently run up? Yes, we did in May. We actually took some uh, money off the table in the S&P 500, which I think seems a bit odd given the quality there and the typical, uh, you know, how it does better towards recession. But look, small and mid caps, and I'd, I'd invite your uh, audience to think about this. Small and mid caps are historically cheap. And I do think there will be a recession, but I think it will be mild and shallow. And so if you think about investing through that recession and not getting too cute, I mean, I think the valuation discount there at 14, 15 times earnings versus 20 plus on the S&P 500, I think you need to think about owning those for the next one to two years, because I do think there's an opportunity on the other side of what will be a short and shallow recession. And kind of back to your uh, uh, question, we are positioned more defensively because we are actually overweight fixed income. We actually have commodities which are underweight, and so we have been adding to uh, fixed income over the past you know, six months based upon our opinion that it now offers real value and a hedge against uh, equity downside. Hmm. So you believe the economy will fall into a recession, coming quarters, shallow recession. What does that look like, and what is the coming quarters? Is that middle of 24? Yeah, I mean, there's good news and bad news here. The good news, as we expected, CPI has come down. That was tied to COVID. The bad news, as you opened with, I don't think – Inflation is done or the Fed is uh, done with inflation until they see wage inflation fall below 4%. The Fed is afraid of a wage price spiral a la 1966 to 1982, where wages essentially took the elevator up and pulled inflation with it. And so this, to me, is where the Fed is going to be focused on and why I think there will be a recession, because they aren't going to take off their tightening bias. They aren't going to put liquidity back into the economy until they see wages come down, which I unfortunately think means job losses in the not-too-distant future, which is what we actually call a recession. Brian, I want to come back to your, uh, your view on small and mid-cap. I mean, you say they, they're historically cheap. It feels like they're always historically cheap. And I just wonder, you know, when is that really going to turn or what's going to be behind you saying something like that, that you feel like they are going to start to at least uh, see some multiple expansion, perhaps? I think once you actually see the whites of the eyes of the recession, I think that's when they actually start turning around. They typically do so in the middle of a recession and they do well coming out of a recession. And so this time period reminds me a lot of 1999 to 2000. If you go back then and take a look at how those names that drove the S&P 500 to those absurd multiples back then did in the uh, economic cycle after, they didn't do very well. The internet was something uh, akin to AI back then. Those stocks actually were good companies, but they weren't good stocks because they had discounted that already. And perhaps some of the benefits of that internet accrued to the other parts of the economy and the markets. I think you're looking at that over the next few years where you see small and mid cap and companies of that nature actually benefit because they are cheaper and they're going to have an economic tailwind. Can you give us a little bit more specifics, even kind of on a sector level or industry level um, on what would fall into that category? Well, I mean, certainly the small and uh, mid cap indices are tilted away from those large cap tech stocks, at least the small cap indices we look at, the S&P 600. And so I think there's opportunities and things you open up with banks, things of that nature. Uh, where they're, they're, they have been pulled back quite a bit. And I think as you think about a short and shallow recession, if it's not, uh, then perhaps the time period's a bit longer. But at 14 to 15 times forward 12-month earnings that have been marked down, I'm willing to take my chances with those coming out of that recession. Hmm. And maybe hedging with uh, you know fixed income exposure, as you mentioned. Uh, exactly. Brent, thanks so much. Appreciate it.